Hey everybody, it's Jesse from Engineer Motorsport Solutions and today I want to go over the proper procedure for installing a rear main seal on these 2.0 and 2.3 liter EcoBoost engines. A lot of our customers purchase short blocks from us and they have to do this part of the install themselves because they've had to assemble the long block. Uh, and, and we see more times than not people get this wrong and it's, uh, it's, it's a really simple thing to do but it's also really easy to mess up if you don't slow down, read the instructions or really pay attention to how it's supposed to be done. So I guess let's we'll start with looking at an OEM rear main seal when, when we first get one. So here we've got brand new in the package Ford rear main seal. <clears throat> As you can tell, when you get it, you pop it out of this package, the seal itself is gonna look flat. And the mistake that we see a lot is people take the brand new seal like it is and they try to install it. Well, you can't do that. Uh, this seal can't be bent outward from the crank. It needs a special tool to take this flat part and bend it inward so that when you install this on the crank and you release the tool, this seal is bent inward where the crank is riding against the inside of the seal. So there's a special tool for this this is the OTC tool, uh, works really well, little expensive, a bit fragile too that we found. Or you can go to our website and you can get the Engineer Motorsport Solution seal, uh, or rear, rear main seal installation tool, $35 on our website. Um, we sell these, we tell people they're good for one to two uses, but that's people only need it usually for one use and it's half the price of the more expensive counterpart. So now uh, I don't want to waste this seal, so I don't want to pop this one through and use this seal up because this is obviously not a good engine. But the next step would be that we would take our tool, we would put it in the rear main seal and we would press it through. And I'll show you here on a used one, again, so we don't use uh, this brand new one. So now I'll get the used rear main seal and show you how to insert the tool. So you take your, of course, on a new one, this would still be flat, but we would take our tool, we would put it right there and we press it in. So now we've pressed that in, you can see <clears throat> that seal is bent, not this way around the crank, but now it'll be this way around the crank, right? When Just by the way the seal's retained, right? So now we need to prep our surface. We recommend using the Ford Motorcraft prep wipes so you take this, you want to prep all the surfaces. It's going to be silicone or gasket related. Give that a second to dry. Next, we need to apply two five millimeter beads of silicone along this mating surface at the bottom of the seal. Uh, here at EMS, we particularly like to add a little extra here in these corners because we're this rear main seal is really difficult to get to. You have to remove the transmission and the flywheel and we want to do it once and be done with it and have it done the right way. Now that we've got our beads of silicone laid, and it may look excessive, but again, folks, you only want to want to you only want to have to do this once. So now we will install our rear main seal. So we want to come down, press forward. There we go. So make sure we're all the way in. We'll make sure our tool is still inserted. We even rotate a couple times there. So now we have the rear main seal all the way on the crank and we still have our tool in. So right now our seal is still bent backward like this. So when we remove our tool, that seal will stay like this and rest against the crank. But first we need to put our bolts in and torque them to spec. Then we'll remove the tool. Takes six M6 fasteners. Thank <clears throat> you. 
Now these two on the bottom, we like to uh, put a little bit of Loctite on those. We've seen a few OEM cars come in and these bolts will come loose and fall out. We'll put a little bit of Loctite on these bottom bolts. Each of these torque to 89 inch pounds. Now that we have our bolts torqued to spec, we're going to remove our rear main seal installation tool. And there you go. And as one last step, we're going to take a filler gauge and run it around the outside of the crank just to make sure that the seal's pushed backward on the crank again, uh, all the way around. We like to use a uh, 8 thousandths filler gauge, put a little oil on it so we make sure our surfaces are going to slide good. Just go in and around, and that's it. Now we know that the seal's been installed properly and it's meeting the crank surface like it should. This rear main seal shouldn't leak. I hope this video has been helpful for everyone. And if you would like to buy one of these rear main seal tools, go to our website, uh, engineermotorsportsolutions.com. You can pick one up there. And uh, if there's anything else we can do to help you, make sure to give us a call or shoot us an email.